Hi everybody. Today my focus is going to be testing out one of my viewers do-it-yourself cleaner. So one of my viewers, TJ, left a comment on my natural cleaner vinegar video that I did. And TJ said, I'd like to know how my do-it-yourself cleaner works. One-to-one -one ratio of water, eight ounces, and 70% rubbing alcohol, eight ounces, with one teaspoon of Dr. Bronner's unscented pure Castile soap, and 10 drops of tea tree oil in a 16 ounce spray bottle on the same surfaces you just tested, countersink, light switch, and toilet. Awesome. TJ, I'm going to get to that right now. The only thing I'm not going to test is a light switch because time and time again, when I am swabbing my light switches, I'm not getting a lot of bacteria on them. But I'm going to test um, my bathroom and my kitchen surfaces for you. So let's see how well TJ's do-it-yourself cleaner works. For those who are new to my channel and don't know how I do my bacteria testing, let me tell you what I do. I grab a Petri dish and I divide it up into three sections and I label it A, B, and C. I'll take a sterile swab and I'll swab an area of my house that I want to test to see how well a cleaner works. I'll place that sample on B for before. Then I'll clean the surface with whatever cleaner it is that I'm testing, swab it again, and put that sample on A for after. Section C is our control. I don't put anything there. Okay, the kitchen counter. All right, this is great. Look at our B for before, a lot of different bacteria growing in B for before, and A for after has absolutely nothing at all. I would say TJ's do-it-yourself cleaner most certainly does disinfect my kitchen counter. 
Dish number two was my kitchen sink, the drain portion. This is a very difficult spot to clean, and I've had a lot of cleaners fail here. So I found this one really interesting. So if you look for B for before, we get a nice sampling of bacteria there, and A for after, again, we have absolutely nothing. So I would say that TJ's formula most certainly does disinfect my kitchen sink. Dish number four was the kitchen sink, but the base of the sink. And you can see here again, B for before has lots of different bacteria growing. And A for after has two small, tiny colonies at all. That's an excellent job. So again, I would say this does an excellent job at disinfecting my kitchen sink. So TJ's do it yourself clean. I did a great job at disinfecting in my kitchen. How did it do in the bathroom? My bathroom sink. Okay, so this one we can see the B for before, lots of bacteria there, um, some really small yellow colonies as well as a couple of big guys. And the A for after, you can see a decrease. There is a decrease, but it is not hugely significant. So I would say I did a eh, so-so job at disinfecting my bathroom sink. The toilet base. So again, we can see B for before, we do have a lot of bacterial growth. And I did, um, by accident, cross the line here into the control area. So that was a mistake on my behalf, but you can see it was clearly like from what I was doing, uh, you know, when I was swabbing back and forth. That was an error, it's just good to point it out. And you can see the A for after side, there's less, but again, I wouldn't say it's a significant amount to say it does an excellent job of cleaning. It does, eh, you know, a so-so job of cleaning my bathroom toilet base. And the toilet seat. So here, I didn't get a lot of bacteria in my before. So when I have a dish that looks like this, where you just have a few tiny colonies in the before section, I usually just nix it out of my results because it doesn't really show a great before and after like what it can do. It just means that my toilet seat was cleaner than let's say the toilet base. Overall, I think TJ's do-it-yourself cleaner of water, 70% alcohol, Dr. Bronner's in tea tree oil did a nice job at disinfecting in my kitchen. And I would totally consider using that um, in my kitchen. However, when it comes to the bathroom, I don't think I'll continue using it in my bathroom, but that's just, it is what it is. You know, we have to remember that different areas in our house have different types of bacteria growing according to wh what the source of the bacteria is, right? Um, the kitchen sink is gonna have from, you know, food and chicken and beef, and the bathroom is gonna have our mouth and fecal matter and all sorts of other kind of contamination. So it doesn't surprise me that much when a cleaner works really well in one area of the home and not so good in another area. So I want to give TJ a big thank you for suggesting I give this a try. If you have a cleaner that you want me to try, put it in the comments. I do have a backlog of about, boy, I think I'm at like 17 different viewer requests right now, but I'm getting to them as fast as I can. I do have a Patreon page in which as soon as I have a result come out, I try to put it on that page immediately, you know, before the video is edited and before I have a chance to really put it all together. So if you're interested in getting like really early results, check out that Patreon page. The link is in the description. Uh, if you want to connect with me, hey, put comments comments down here or uh, reach out to me on my Instagram page. I love reading your comments. Uh, I really appreciate all of your time. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a great day.